Hey, welcome back. It's Jason Walter here. I made a couple of videos recently regarding a decrease in single family new home sales, as well as a decrease in construction for single family houses as well. And I received quite a few comments regarding why are builders backing off on building single family houses, given the fact that we have still, you know, historically speaking, low inventory for existing houses, and also the uh, price margins or the uh, gross margins that builders have right now are still very high. So it's a valid question, so I thought I'd make a video regarding that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll do my best to describe why builders are not constructing single family houses right now. Obviously, one uh, reason for that is on the demand side, right? Mortgage rates have been increasing greatly, and that's why we're seeing this pullback in home buying demand, and therefore home buying demand decrease for new houses. Uh, but there's more to the story here, and I wanna do my best to explain that with you guys. And of course, if you do enjoy videos like these, then please hit the like button, I greatly appreciate that. Also, consider subscribing to my channel as well. I post frequent housing market updates so you guys can be more informed. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and dive right in right here. So let's first talk about uh, new single family housing starts. Uh, this is on Uncle Fred's website. Uncle, I should say, I should say Uncle Fred's website. I always talk, call it Uncle Fred. So here's Uncle Fred's uh, graph here regarding new single family um, housing units um, started. So housing starts for single family houses. And by the way, these are in, uh, these are analyzed rates and also these are in thousands of units. So right now, the most recent trend we have right now, or the most recent data we have right now is for June 2022. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, according to them, we had 982,000 uh, single family housing starts on an annualized basis uh, in June. And by the way, this is the lowest number we've had since June 2020. So in other words, this is basically a two year low. Also, the number of new single family housing starts has been decreasing for four consecutive months. It has decreased ever since March of this year. And in looking at this graphic here over the past 10 years, uh, the number of housing starts we have for single family houses is still very much elevated. So for the time period of, let's say June 2012, all the way until January 2020, we actually had less housing starts for new single family houses. But clearly over the past four months, builders have really put the brakes on um, housing starts for single family houses, but also permits started as well. And more on that here in just a little bit. What we're also seeing right now is a decrease in lumber um, costs as well. So lumber futures prices are at 526. This is far lower than the all time record highs that we have of around $1,600 about a couple of years ago. So right now, the current levels right now at 526 is a 54% decrease year to date. So despite the fact that lumber future prices are down almost 55% year to date, builder confidence has also been plunging as well. So builder confidence in the market for newly built single family houses has posted its seventh straight monthly decline as I report to you guys a couple weeks ago here. Actually, this was published on the 18th of July. And this reading here marks the lowest reading since June 2020. And also this is the largest single month drop in the history of this HMI or their uh, home market index, except for the 42 point drop that we saw in April 2020, which of course was the onset of pandemic. Also, according to the National Association of Home Builders, uh, increased mortgage rates, uh, building material supply chain bottlenecks, and elevated construction costs continue to put a damper on the single family housing market. And for the first time since June 2020, both single family housing starts and permits pulled fell below 1 million at an analyzed pace. And again, you can look at that when looking at Uncle Fred's website here for housing starts, uh, dipping below 1 million starts uh, for the first time since June 2020. Also, when looking at um, single family um, permits pulled, take a look at this. These are uh, permits pulled for single family units. Again, these are in thousands of units and also these are analyzed rates. And this is on Uncle Fred's website here. Uh, so the uh, number of permits pulled right now is 970,000, the lowest number since uh, June 2020 as well. So clearly right now, builders are pulling back on doing housing starts. And by the way, a housing start is the beginning phase of the construction of a brand new home. And obviously, before you start constructing a house, you need permits approved and authorized. So in any case, this is the first time since June 2020 where a single family housing starts and permits pulled uh, for single family houses have fallen below 1 million at an annualized pace here. Um, also in June, 
a single family housing starts decreased by 8.1%, a big decrease uh, compared to uh, May, according to the US Census Bureau. Also, uh, permits pulled decreased by 8% in June as well. And as I mentioned, uh, June single family builder confidence uh, dipped big time uh, in July. And this is after builder confidence peaked in November 2020. And builders have reported ongoing concern over elevated material costs and delivery delays. And I actually have some uh, firsthand knowledge or uh, some firsthand experience regarding these delays here because my wife and I, we actually remodeled our home uh, a few months ago. We ordered our convection microwave about a year ago. I would say we probably ordered that back in August or uh, September of last year. And we still don't even have that microwave yet. So if you're a home builder building hundreds of houses, for example, a lot of these home builders are facing big delays in getting construction materials and also appliances, of course, as well. And it says here, moreover, the sharp rise in mortgage rates uh, during the first half of 2022 have also had a negative impact on the demand side of the building market. And they go on to say the following here. It says, driven by the ongoing strength in the rental market, reinforced by higher mortgage rates, the multifamily sector, which includes apartment buildings and condos, increased 10.3% uh, in June. Multifamily permits also increased by 11.5%. So we're seeing this turnaround from home builders right now. They're basically turning away from building or constructing single family houses because uh, permits pulled are down 8% compared to June and housing starts are also down 8.1% in June. In stark contrast though, uh, permits pulled for multifamily and also housing starts for multifamily also increased by double digits. Yet another reason why builders are backing off on building single family houses, and honestly, I do not blame them. If I was a home builder, I would definitely be backing off on, on building a single family houses due to a build pullback in home buying demand. Uh, but let's have a look at Uncle Fred's uh, graphic here again. This is uh, new single family houses that are for sale. And by the way, these are in thousands of units again, these are seasonally adjusted. So as of the end of June, according to the US Census Bureau, we have 457,000 single family houses uh, for sale in the United States. And by the way, this is the highest levels since April, 2008. Therefore, the inventory of new single family houses for sale has been piling up. Therefore, this gives builders less motivation to build more houses, given the fact that inventory has been piling up. Also, the cost of building materials has been skyrocketing over the past couple of years as well. This is also according to the National Association of Home Builders or the NAHB. Uh, take a look at this. Here's the price of goods used in residential construction climbed 1.5% in June, even as softwood lumber prices fell 23%. And this is according to the latest uh, producer price index or their PPI. Uh, prices have surged 41.7% since January 2020. So prices of goods used in construction of residential properties here um, has risen 41.7% since January 2020. And here's a graphic showing uh, the prices of inputs uh, to residential construction ever since June 2018. As you can see here, the blue line right here is goods, less food and energy. And the red line here is services, such as you know, tradesmen, contractors, et cetera. But take a look at this because ever since June 2018 until you know, the first part of 2020, uh, the uh, cost of these inputs was basically flat. But ever since COVID hit, these prices absolutely skyrocketed. So one of the very few um, construction materials that has actually fallen is actually lumber, as I uh, mentioned earlier in this video here. So the PPI for software lumber um, actually fell 22.6% in June, and prices have fallen 35.0% since March 2022. So lumber has been going down, but virtually all the other uh, building material costs have been going up. So for example, ready mix concrete actually climbed 5.1% year to date and actually has climbed 11.3% over the past 12 months. And interesting enough, the uh, variance of these price increases for ready-made uh, concrete varies by region. And not surprisingly, the West actually had the biggest gains uh, of cost for ready-mix concrete up 23.2%, whereas in the Midwest, it only increased by 10.6%. We're also seeing a big increase in gypsum products, which is basically drywall. Uh, that has increased 22.6% over the past year. And ever, ever since basically 2020, the prices have been absolutely skyrocketing for that. Uh, steel products are also up greatly as well. And it says here that prices are about 6.5% below their all-time record highs. And that was set in December 2021. And current prices for steel products are about twice January 2021's levels.
But wait, there's more. The PPI for paint was flat over the last month. So that was kind of funny, right? Flat, just like matte finish, glossy, flat. Anyways, bad joke. So anyways, the, <laughs> the PPI for paint was flat over the last month and the prices for paint have basically not declined since January, 2021. And the prices of exterior plus interior paint have risen 49.3 and 33.2% respectively in the months since. But wait, there's more. The cost of freight has also increased as well. So the cost for truck transportation actually decreased by 0.4% in June, but this is the first monthly decline since May 2020. Since then, prices for local and long distance motor carrying prices are up 31% and 46.5% respectively. Also, water transportation costs have also increased greatly as well. The price of deep sea water freight has climbed 57.8% since the beginning of 2020. And on top of that, these other materials have also increased as well. So millwork increased year to date 3% or 5%, I should say. Uh, year over year, it also has increased almost 15%. And also um, asphalt and also tar uh, roofing has increased over 20% year over year. So as you guys can see, home builders are really facing a lot of headwinds right now. Of course, buyers are facing headwinds as well. And that's why we're seeing this pullback in building uh, single family houses uh, by builders right now. So if you guys got any value out of today's video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.